Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Aries. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Um, Aries, I feel like I get the sense that you uh, sometimes feel like giving up on someone, um, throwing in the towel <laughs> here. Um, because you're in the dark, okay, with the moon, um, you're seeking clarity that it just doesn't seem to be coming. Um, but I feel like just a little more patience, Aries, and I feel like it it will uh, you will get that clarity because I see in your future something that is going to make you very happy. Okay, so let's look here. So this is the situation. Um, I feel like you want uh, a long-term relationship with someone. Um, I feel like he's there in the back of your mind or she's there. Um, you could be very focused on this right now. Um, it could be that with this person, maybe it involves a risk. This is about risk taking and gambling. It could be with the magician here that when it comes to this, uh, this person, I have to put them all together to get the whole picture. So this is what I'm going to do because um, otherwise I can go in <laughs> many different directions. So. Uh, what this particular uh, scene is about is that something's not growing. The Empress is in the reverse. So it's like you're really attracted to this person. Look at that. <laughs> you're very attracted to this person, but it's not growing. The Empress is in the reverse. And it's like you can't always believe what you're seeing or what what they're what they're telling you. Um, when it comes to this person, it's like maybe uh, their words are empty. You feel um, something doesn't add up. Okay, the magician speaks to illusion, sleight of hand, the trickster. You know, and so. It, it's like you feel like like something is not right with this person and you feel like uh, they are they are not uh, sincere that maybe they are pretending playing games uh, hiding something putting on a show um, and I feel like you you've thought of throwing in the towel but there's something about this person there's something that draws you to this person and I don't think it's for nothing I do feel like your union is faded okay so don't throw in the towel too quickly <laughs> on this person is what I I want to say the problem is that you have a lot of insecurities with this now it could be for many things um, it could be that you maybe want things to move faster uh, than they are, okay? Uh, it could be you're having a lot of insecurities, um, maybe because of past experiences, ghosts of the past, you know? I feel like you need to be patient. I feel like things are not as they seem, but it's also not what you think. And I feel like if you are patient, you are going to get some very happy news here. It's right here in the future with this Three of Cups. It's, this card says the body is happy when it has what it wants. And so you are finally going to receive what you want, you see. And so uh, this is coming. So just hold on there. Hold on. Don't throw in that towel, okay? And so, see, there you are, Aries, Queen of Wands. That's you. And you're sitting next to the wish card. And look how you lean towards this flower. You want it. 
<laughs> you want it, okay? And um, that is what you are wishing for. And I think that you want it and you want it now. <laughs> and I think that could be the problem. I think you, you must have patience here. Okay, maybe this is your lesson to learn with the wheel here. Maybe patience is what needs to be learned. Okay, um, holding out for the potential of something more. Because, and, and I'm thinking that you could be thinking of throwing in the towel here and testing the waters elsewhere. But when in fact, I think that your your pot of gold so to speak at the end of the rainbow is kind of here okay but you're not seeing it so it's like and, and, and you know your heart really wants this one but it's like well it's not happening <laughs> it's like it's not happening maybe I should look elsewhere maybe they don't care but I can tell you that they do care and in fact they are even thinking about telling you how they feel okay so but you're sitting here in um woe is me energy you see oh what am i going to do now <laughs> okay it's like that um i'm hurting head is hurting heart is hurting i've i've put effort here but like nothing is happening this wheel ain't moving <laughs> It's like that, this wheel ain't moving, it's just not moving. And you're longing for it to move. This is a card, this card speaks to longing for somebody to make a decision. And and it's not happening. Interesting that it falls on the wheel of fortune. And this wheel in particular, um, because I use many decks, it could have been any other wheel. Look, it's over here also, right here at the bottom of this deck. But this particular wheel doesn't move. <laughs> so it just like falls in perfectly with the message that I'm getting from these cards. So you're longing for something that's not moving. She's in reverse indicating it's not moving either. And it, it's bothering you. It's hurting you. Your, your, your brain, it's just like you're thinking about it constantly. Why, why, why is it not, not working, not moving? What's wrong with me? Is it me? And uh, so, uh, or what's wrong with them, you know? I mean, it's just a lot of questions go through the mind because you see the head is bandaged as well. So is the heart. Okay, and so you've got all of these fears now. This is the Eight of Swords in this deck, and it could indicate that, oh yeah, see, you have the Ten up there too. So you could have had some bad experiences in love that are causing all of these insecurities that you're feeling. As well, uh, they could also be experiencing that energy or have been, you know, um, Whatever was holding them back, though, I think that they see that they need to step it up or step up their game, you know. Um, and I think that they they want to because they don't want to lose you. They don't want you to test the waters elsewhere. They don't. They don't want to lose you. So this is. Um, he could be about a decision. He could be a, about a strategy. Um, about perhaps getting a decision to go get the, the bigger picture or there's a strategy surrounding this somehow. I feel like he wants to be in a relationship. That's what he's thinking. I put all these cards together. Um, it's what he's thinking. He wants the bigger picture him also. So I feel like he could have some trust issues um, and this is why he may hold back. Okay, when it comes to relationships, when it comes to feelings or exposing these feelings, he has some trust issues with that. Okay, there's a hanged man again. Uh, okay, so there's a hangman. All right, he's in bed, like the Eight of Swords. Okay, so um, let me just put all these together again. I feel like uh, somebody's withdrawn and they're they're 
they don't have all of their information so maybe they're trying to understand what's going on is this person playing mind games with me or why does this keep happening to me you know uh, it could be like that um, I feel like you don't have all the facts that's the problem you don't have all the facts and so you're imagining what could possibly be wrong okay so uh, or what could possibly uh, be uh, stopping this from growing okay or what are they hiding whatever it is you're fearing okay your imagination is just like all over the place when it comes to this person because they haven't told you how they felt but I think that it has come out in it's like you can feel them you can feel the connection but it's like there's things that just don't match up okay and so something feels off there and and this is what's got you really thinking well is this real is it not because see you have the false prophet here when it comes to um, the things that they're telling you so you don't think that they are sincere um, yeah that that's but you don't know the real reason behind oh behind why they're holding back okay that's that's hidden from you uh, they've been hiding it from you yes they have been hiding something they have been hiding that okay but it's not <laughs> what you think it is it's not because they they're pretending uh, to want a relationship with you because they really do want a relationship with you it's not like they're pretending to have feelings for you when they don't because they do have feelings for you it's just a process that they need to go through um, before they can uh, open up to you because they have some trust issues that's what this is all about for them you know and so but I think that they are very afraid that they are going to lose you and so here in the future uh, we see that the wheel of fortune reappears and this wheel of fortune is moving so I feel like I feel like there is a chance like they don't want to lose you they don't want to lose you they want this opportunity with you and so you're going to see some movement here something's coming out of the trunk <laughs> look at this look at that something's coming out of the trunk <laughs> there it is there information that you don't have but I'm sure you will be very happy to have you have what is hidden from you right now is a, a happy event in your future and it's here there's a reunion a gathering here that you can't see because the magician is blocking your view okay and um, and here also so this is interesting because they're the same cards okay so they it has appeared here and it has appeared here so you have a very happy event you have something that is going to make you very very happy here in the future the fact that it is appearing twice once on your final card in the future and once over here at the bottom of the deck plus the wheel of fortune oh my god and the wish card and the six of love wow so I mean there's something coming here for you Aries and it is big this is faded this union so don't discard it so easily don't throw in the towel and have patience <laughs> it, it, it's going to pay off your patience that is what I have for you I thank you for watching for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing also thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation it is greatly appreciated many blessings to all of you bye for now